Well, good afternoon again. While I'm waiting for those other ones to upload, I've decided to read you the saints from yesterday and today. I particularly like the saints of yesterday, the 28th of October, because one of my grandsons is called Jude. And yesterday's feast day of saints was Simon and Saint and Jude, the apostles. So this won't take long. Um, I'll probably finish this before the others have uploaded. Little is known of these two apostles, whose names are always linked in the gospel accounts. Simon is called the Zealot, and Jude, son of James. My son is called James, and he's called his son Jude. <laughs> so the entrance antiphon. These are the holy men whom the Lord chose in his own perfect love. To them he gave eternal glory. The glory in excelsis is said, glory to God in the highest. I won't have time to do that, so I'll do the readings. Collect. O oh God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant through the intercession of Saint Simon and Jude that the church may constantly grow by increase of the peoples who believe in you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 19 to 22. You are no longer aliens or foreign visitors. You are citizens like all the saints and part of God's household. You are part of a building that has the apostles and prophets for its foundations and Christ Jesus himself for its main cornerstone as every structure is aligned on him. All grow into one holy temple in the Lord, and you too, in him, are being built into a house where God lives in the Spirit, the Word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm is, Their word goes forth through all the earth. Psalm 18 now. The heavens proclaim the glory of God and the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message, the response. Their word goes forth through all the earth. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span goes forth through all the earth. Their words go to the utmost bounds of the world. The response, their word goes forth through all the earth. The gospel acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. We praise you, O God. We acknowledge you to be the Lord. The glorious company of the apostles praise you, O Lord. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Chapter 6, verse 12 to 19. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went out into the hills to pray, and he spent the whole night in prayer to God. When day came, he summoned his disciples and picked out twelve of them. He called them apostles. Simon, whom he called Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James son of Alphaeus, Simon called the Zealot, Judas son of James, and Judas Iscariot who became a traitor. He then came down with them and stopped at a piece of level ground where there was a large gathering of his disciples with a great crowd of people from all parts of Judea 
and from Jerusalem, and from the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon, who had come to hear him, and to be cured of their diseases. People tormented by unclean spirits were also cured, and everyone in the town was trying to touch him, because power came out of him and cured them all. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I have time now just to read um, a little bit about, it's not much here, but I'll read it. It's for today's saint is called Saint Coleman, C-O-L-M-A-N, and he is the patron of the Diocese of Kilmacduck, R. So, it's just got a collect that I will read, and that's all there is on that page. Father of our Saviour Jesus Christ, who established your dwelling in the heart of your bishop, Saint Coleman, and through solitude and contemplation made him strong in your love. Form us, we pray, in the spirit of penance and prayer, so that we too may live your divine life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. And St. Coleman, please pray for us. And I'll now have to read up about you because I know absolutely nothing about you, only that it's your day to pray. God bless you all. Thank you for listening.